hello guys it's Ali welcome to my channel and thank you for watching so today's topic is going to be how does your person see you how does he or she see you I have three groups group one group two and group three select you are welcome to select more than one group and if it doesn't resonate with you you can always choose a different group remember this is a general reading and um, so yeah I'll give you guys a moment and we're gonna get started Okay guys, if you need more time, you know what to do, pause the video. So now we're gonna start with group one. Put this aside. So these are the Oracle cards, but I'm gonna use the Everyday Witch Tarot deck for, um, for the tarot. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So for the first card, we have Hex, Banishment. Make sure you, see, you guys see this, okay? Second card, we have new love, okay? Third card, we have relationship. Fourth card, we have wedding. Finances. Flexible. And a leg up. So, so just first thing that I see here is that your person definitely see you as a rela relationship material. Okay, we have here relationship and wedding. So it's definite, uh, I'm gonna see you as new love. Perhaps um, if you just met your person, this could be a new love interest for them. Or you could be, a um, a new love interest for them and they see a lot of potential they see someone maybe they could you know invest in long term a relationship material you know person of relationship material someone they might even want to marry so or if you've been with your person for quite some time the new love here is that they see you as just as again same thing as someone they would want to build with okay it says imp uh, embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospect or for spiritual growth I'm reading most of the times I don't read the cards literally I, I do read them intuitively so what I get from this combination is that your person sees you as an opportunity okay a love opportunity someone they would invest uh, in and someone you know the long term so your person is pretty serious about you your person sees you in a good light okay and then uh, as I said perhaps here we have finances and career they could also want to build with you okay it's sort of this card for me a leg up it's about interdependence it's about helping each other leaning on each other perhaps your person see you as someone they can build a very good future with um, you know relationship money and all that you know to build a relationship and career and all that you guys could be a great partners in life and um, you know they might see you as someone as well that you don't you might be a very independent person you might not ask for a lot of help so maybe that that is why too we're getting the, this card for some of you they might see you as a very independent person who does not ask for help but your person does want to give you the help they want you to lean on them and they want to lean on you that's what I'm getting this year is also somebody who's pretty flexible who is easily adaptable and you're just not a rigid person yeah um, so see what this is what we get in this card so yeah I, I really feel like this you as someone who's very easygoing very, very flexible you're not rigid um, they might think either you have you know people that don't give you the best you know the best advice either around you or around them because we have your hex and banishment this card for me is about, it warns you to be careful of who's around you, you know, because not everyone's wishing you well. So perhaps they feel that you have people around you that just are not, you know, they're not, they're giving you bad advice. And they could also have people around them that just also are not very supportive of the relationship. So it's either around you or around them. 
but basically they do get a sense that there are people that just don't wish you well okay so here for relationship here let me just read this to you for you guys I call in the infinite power of love to take over this union in every way. May it now fully belong to the divine. Let it unfold in the perfect way for each of us. I needn't fear letting go of control. My needs are always abundantly met. So yeah, your person really sees you as a relationship material. I don't know what type of experience you've, ha you've had with them so far, but their thoughts on how they see you, they see you in a very positive light. That's what I'm getting from this combination. Let's find out some more. We're going to use the tarot. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's see here about the um, banishment, the hex card. Let me clarify it. Yeah says two of cups i really feel that uh there are people around you around them that do not wish you well they're not very supportive of the relationship i i don't know for what whatever reason that is let's see yeah we have the two of cups the justice and the ace of cups really your person really is thinking of long term they really want to offer, you know, they have very deep feelings for you. And the justice here and the two of cups here also means that, I mean, they're look, looking for the, you know, they're really looking at you for the long haul, okay, for relationship, marriage, because the justice could mean also, you know, um, legally married. So if this doesn't resonate with you, if you're having problems with your person and you don't think your person is in it for the long haul, if they want... And if they don't want to, um, a committed relationship, this is this reading definitely is not for you. But for those who have somewhat of a, you know, uh, you see your person in a positive light, then this your person sees you the same way. If whatever you feel for them, they feel for you because the two of cups also for me means also it's mutual. So whatever your feelings are for your person, they reciprocate. Okay. So, let's see. Let's see what else. Is there any, any other obstacles? What's going on with this connection? Let's just find out. What's going on with this connection? With this connection, sorry. We have the chariot. We have the six of wands. And we have the seven of wands. So although they, they might see you in this positive light and all that, but I think one of you or both of you are defensive regarding this. Um, I wouldn't say perhaps, or this could also mean that the seven of wands here could mean, oh my God, I don't even think you could see it. I'm sorry. Let me just move this. Let me move this up. I asked what's going on with this connection. Okay, see so if you could see it. Yes. So we have here the chariot, the six of wands, and the seven of wands. What I get is your person really wants to fight for this connection. But for some reason here, the hex, and then we have the six of wands. Your, uh, your person might also kind of likes to keep up appearances. So they might be uh, sort of fearful of what people might think. Okay. Um, about them so they might have a lot of people around them family members and friends that do not support the relationship and maybe that is why you have this card hex and banishment and to try to get rid of whatever toxic people around you guys that don't are not supportive of the relationship I feel like your person is around a lot of people either very close to family or have a lot of friends and um, they put him on a pedestal and he he or she do not want to come out of the pedestal they they um they pretty much have an image and they care what people think and i think that is why perhaps your person hasn't been if you felt some sort of um defensive 
dif defensiveness or they're not allowing you very close you know very close to their heart on in their life is because of that perhaps there are people around that do not support the relationship a hundred percent so for you guys to have this commitment and all that because they do have feelings for you the feelings are very deep and they want to have a relationship for with you but i think that they do tend to listen to a lot of people and family members that don't support the relationship and maybe that is why it kind of becomes um they don't know what they want to do with you and maybe that's why sometimes they run hot and cold because the chariot in this deck it's that they don't know which way to go so it's about indecision they want to make they want to take action, but just they don't know which way to go, either left or right. See, in this, in this card, as depicted in this card. So, yeah, if you guys didn't have, if your person did not have, didn't care what people thought, you wouldn't have obstacles in your way. Because, like I said, the feelings for you are very deep. And we have a lot of positive cards where they want to marry you. They want, or if it's not marriage, they want to have a very deep, serious relationship with you. But like I said, if you're not very close right now, it's because there are people whispering in their ear and um, in their ears. And I think that's what's the problem. Yeah. So, so that this is it. I mean, because our question today is just how your person sees you. So that's it, uh, group one. Thank you very much for watching. That's all I have for you guys today. Okay. Let's move on to group two. We have alchemist, herbal, what is this? Herbal kitchen, yeah, alchemist. We have the heart of the matter. There is more going on that meets the eye. Let's put it right here. We have love. It's not about finding love. You are love itself. Help me, Lord, uh, to send so much compassion and caring to the inner child that I always remember and myself. I myself am love. Okay. We have separation. We have make the effort. Happy, happy. And we have by the book. So how does your person see you? Okay, so I really feel like some of you, for most of your group too, uh, you are in separation right now. And I feel like how they see you is they feel that as though you're not making much of an effort. I feel like these, they kind of feel as if you have withdrawn from them and you're just not really as invested in the connection as you were, uh, you were once. And I feel like they see you as you're trying to find your happiness happy happy is that they're trying to I think you're what they think of you and how they see you is you're trying to to find that unconditional love they try they you're trying to work on yourself and you're trying to look for happiness elsewhere okay here love this this love card is all about self-love so I really feel they feel as if you have pulled away energetically and you're trying to work on yourself and you're trying to to find that, um, that self-love that you, perhaps you were lacking in the past, but you're trying to work on yourself and to find your happiness with or without them. Okay, that's how they see you. And the alchemist here, for me this card is very similar to the magician, that you have power, power to make anything happen, okay? It's about, you know, you're cooking up something, okay? And in this case, you try to manifest your happiness and you try to manifest self-love you're not really looking for love outside yourself but instead you're trying to really uh to manifest it through yourself you know you're trying to love yourself more but maybe you've been taking on exercise maybe you've been dressing better you've just been a better pleasant person and they see it they see your energy has um has um is different you're vibrating at a higher frequency because of that because you've been working on yourself okay here by the book is about someone who kind of abides by social rules about uh, just you know uh, it's also about someone who's traditionalist uh, somebody who does things by the book essentially just like the title just like what the card says 
um, I really feel like you are they see you as someone who kind of who believes you know in what on all that what relationship the traditional relationship which it should be you know they see you as someone who wants a deep commitment who wants the white picket fence and that you know the children the husband that so they see you as someone who's very traditionalist that way so group two if this does not resonate with you because remember it's a general reading it's not your group you select another group um, if none resonate with you is just wait till the next video but in this for whoever chose this and if it resonates with you I really feel like your person has felt your energy you've kind of pulled away from them okay and it feels like the heart of the matter it says there's more going on than meets the eye so they're thinking your person thinks that there's more to you that you pretty much your focus has shifted elsewhere that's what I get from this card let's find out let's see what the tarot has to tell us yeah so most of you that chose group two you've uh, in separation if it's not physical separation it's at least an emotional one you're just kind of withdrawn from one another you just let things um, you just let things on the back burner and just you're not focusing as much on it as you were before the focus is more on you I feel and I think they, they kind of sense that okay, let's see yeah we have let's see if we make sure this is in front we have the queen of swords the two of cups and the four of cups I really feel like you are in this queen of swords energy and that is why we have the happy happy here you're going for your happiness okay you're not you're just more assertive you know what you want you want this relationship this equal give and take you want a um, a partner that is equal to you that gives you equally that not just takes takes from you and drain your energy so I really feel for most of you that have chosen group two you're in this energy you're in the queen of swords energy you have found your strength and you're working on making yourself better because you just don't no longer want to invest in this relationship at least not the way you did before I feel like you have sort of um, lost hope for the most part regarding this connection and I really feel they, they kind of they sense it we have the four of cups I feel they're really picking up on your energy that you're sort of pulled pulled away from them they sense it this something has changed within you you're no longer entertaining this relationship you're not longer as invested as you will you were once you want something better you're dissatisfied as to how this relationship is going yeah let's see let's see let's see three cards here um, what's going on with this connection what would happen yeah um we have the sun the fool and the 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 seven of wands so i still feel that either you or your person is resisting okay the seven of wands or it could mean that your person for some of you your person would fight for your connection for others of you that your person is still in that st stagnant energy where they're not letting you in but I don't think that you're waiting for them necessarily I don't think that I don't think you care as much as you once did it's like whatever yeah but they definitely sense a shift within you so so yeah thank you group two that's all I have for you thank you for watching see you next time okay group three 
broomstick. Uh, we have clearance. We have gen uh, generation, regeneration, I'm sorry. We have deep knowing. Let your friends help you. You deserve love. Loneliness. The only thing that is real is love. Okay. How does your person see you? Well, he sees you as a very strong person. That you have a very, you have the spirit of a phoenix. That no matter what happens to you, no matter what life throws at you, you always rise from your ashes. That's how they see you as well. They see you as someone who's very strong, has a very deep intuition, deep knowing here. And it's a seven, four, 43. So it's someone who's very, they might see you as very spiritual and you just know things. You have a very strong intuition. They might see you as someone who is very social, who has a, a, a big, uh, what a friend circle around you, but they still feel no matter how much, how many friends you have, you still have a loneliness deep down. You still, you could be around so many people, but yet feel so lonely at the same time. It says loneliness, when you stop fearing your lo uh, loneliness, you stop selling for less than you deserve. May I embrace and love my solitude. And that's when kindred spirits can finally come. Well, I'm reading this card intuitively, is that either they feel as if that you kind of what I what I first initially got got from this combination is that you have friends you have a large circle of friends but at the same time you are misunderstood and you're really lonely at heart that's what I got almost like the and you're just someone who enjoy your loneliness as well. You could also withdraw because you are a very intuitive person, because you are this old soul and, and very strong. Sometimes you need the, lo the solitude so you can recharge your batteries. They might see you as that. They feel like they see you as someone who really deserves love, someone who's very loving, who's capable of giving a lot of love. Maybe they, they don't feel like they've been entirely fair with you. They, they, maybe they feel like they, um, that whatever they have given you, you know that you deserve way more than they've given you. And they feel like you deserve better than them. You deserve more than they have given you. That's, that's what I got from this card. What I got from this card is that they might they might have feel as if because of your involvement with them, you kind of lost hope in love. And they don't want you to be that way. They don't want you to lose faith in love. That they want you to believe in love and you deserve love. Whether it's with them or with someone else, I really feel like your person wishes you well and uh, sees you in a very high regard because they see you as this very strong person and um, you're just a wonderful human being. And I really feel that they know what they've done and they're very sorry for it. They just feel like they kind of shortchanged you as, as far as love is concerned. And maybe that kind of, um, you might have lost some hope in ever finding love. And, and it's not what their intention, their intentions are towards you. They don't want you to lose hope in love. And here, the broomstick here, clearance, that could also mean that there's certain things in your life that you must sweep away just to clear, clear to make room for new and to whether, whether there are like toxic people around you or even if this relationship doesn't serve you and you haven't gotten anywhere with your person, maybe it's time to release. Maybe it's time to release them, okay? So they could also, this card could also suggest that whatever that doesn't serve you, you must release and let go. You gotta do some cleaning of your life. Whatever, you know, um, 
if you haven't been able to get what you want from your person, it's maybe time to look elsewhere. Okay, but let's see. This is just uh, this is just one scenario. Remember, there's a lot of you watching, so everybody's situation is different. If you want a personal reading with me, all that information you need regarding how to contact me is in the description box below the video. So let's see. Let's find out. Let's find out what's going to happen between you and your person. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords, and we have the Eight of Wands. Let's just clarify the Eight of Wands, the Moon. So, I really feel like with your person, it's still up in the air. You're wishing very much that you would have some sort of um, a resolution and you would be closer to them. You're wishing for this relationship, but I really feel like your person uh, they're not confronting their feelings or they're not investing in the connection. They're not being, they're just wearing a mask. They're just not being, um, what do you call that? What is that? Um, authentic with you. Okay. They might have, they might look, see you in high regard, but they're still not ready to invest in this relationship. You might be dealing, maybe they're already in another relationship or in me, or it could be, that they're just not ready for a relationship. They're not ready to commit to anyone. And things are still up in the air. So what's coming up for your connection, if not, and if the energies don't change because future is now written in stone, it can change at any time. I see your connection is still up in the air. But really your person sees you as you deserve way, you deserve better than that. You deserve more than they've given you and they know it. They know it. That's the worst part of it all is they know it, but they're not doing much to change their ways and to get close to you. Let's see. What's preventing them from coming close? Page of Cups. They do want to come close to you, but maybe circumstances in their life are, are not permitting for them to be invested in you for some reason. Either they're married or they have a, um, a children whatever the case may be, or maybe they've hurt you so much that they are too afraid to come, come to you and apologize and, you know, acknowledge their, what they've done to you. Let's see what else. Yeah. They want to, part of them, wants to, to do things right, but not yet. The timing is off. It's not, they're not ready yet. They will do it in time because we have the page of cups here and the justice. They will apologize. They will right their wrongs, but not yet. I still feel like they, they're in the seven of swords energy, which kind of like trying to avoid it, trying to deny their feelings or trying to ignore things and just be sneaky about it. Even deceiving themselves, not even deceiving you, but deceiving themselves. So, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know how long you've been waiting, but if you've been waiting on your person for a long time and you haven't seen a change, maybe it's something you have to kind of, um, you know, maybe change directions and start living your life on your terms and you know and see see where this connection goes if it doesn't go anywhere fine but if it goes somewhere then great but at least for now focus on yourself because i don't feel like your person is just ready to come forward and and really <clears throat> excuse me express their feelings towards you <coughs> they could have a number of things happening in their life that do not permit them to to act um, on their feelings just yet because maybe their life is very complicated. There's a lot of things behind the scenes you're not aware of. So, but nevertheless, they do see you in hard regard, no matter what. You just need to find your happiness with or without them. I mean, that's all that matters at the end of the day is that you be happy, that you have a happy life and that you have love, that the love that you deserve. Okay, thank you so much group three for watching and um, um, until next time, thank you, bye.